Hello everyone. The twenty thousand banknote I'm holding is Ariary, Madagascar's currency. On its back is printed the hybrid rice of China. Madagascar, with a population of twenty-eight million, has a rice planting area of one point five million hectares, accounting for more than half of the national crop planting area, making it an important rice exporting country in Africa. However, due to the lack of new varieties and the new technologies of fine rice, outdated agricultural infrastructure, low rice production, and high population growth, the former granary of the Indian Ocean had to import 200,000 to 400,000 tons of rice every year to feed its people. Since the launch of a hybrid rice demonstration center project in Madagascar in 2007, the team led by academician Yuan Longping has made hybrid rice take root in Madagascar. At present, hybrid rice has been planted in Madagascar over an area of 50,000 hectares, with an average yield of 7.5 tons per hectare and a maximum yield of 12 tons per hectare. By realizing the development of the whole industrial chain of hybrid rice breeding, seed production, planting, processing, and marketing, Madagascar has become the Africa country with the largest hybrid rice planting area and highest yield. That brings me back to when I was traveling around the world. One of my favorite things to do is to collect the currency of that that country because it's kind of like. When you look at currency, it's like a little history book, right? You flip through it, you see all the important people and all the historical moments. Because, as you know,、uh, for example, in、uh, the British pound, you have、um, the Queen, Winston Churchill, and in America, you've got Lincoln and uh, Columbus, um, and in China, of course, Mao Zedong. Yeah. But in Madagascar, when you turn it over, it、it's、has the Chinese、way. hybrid rice.、Yeah. I mean, that is a huge salute to the impact that China had on not only their Historical culture, but also the the well-being of the people, I think, is the highest form of acknowledgement for a country's, you know, country's age.